All right, peace and love, world. Welcome to another episode of Conversation with Zoe. This is episode 113, right? Featuring my guy, Spotted Cuz. So how are we going to start this one today? What's good? What's good? What's cracking, cuz? What's cracking? What's cracking? Is they fucking dumb? We outside. That's how we started today. Dumb, we outside. It's your fucking boy, Spider Cuz. And you here with my guy, Big Fucking Zoe. All right, nigga. Yeah. Talking with Zoe. I we are I said here. Right. We're here today with my guy, Cuz Parker. Cuz Parker. That's a fact. We Hard outside. Where that's you from? Peace to Uncle Ben, nigga. From Brooklyn. From Crooklyn. Crooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Best style, to be exact. You know what I'm saying? The whole area. How was life growing up in the style? Life growing up in the style, man, it was crazy, man. Like, you know, like you, you saw a lot of shit, like, you know what I'm saying? You saw a lot of shit growing up. And um, like, you know, a lot of gang related shit. Like, I wasn't crip at the time. You feel me? Like I was I wasn't gang related, I wasn't gang affiliated. Um, a lot of bloods in the area. Best style was filled up. Best style, like if you know about best style back in like in the nineties and shit like that, 90, 91, 92, 93, four, whatever. <laughs> that shit was crazy. So yeah, yeah, in that era, yeah, it was crazy back then. Definitely crazy. Do you remember the day he got bit by the spider? Shit. The day I got bit by the spider. <laughs> it was like it was the day I was born. Like it was the, like it was like it was like you know like the day I got bit by a spider. We actually my motherfucking date of birth, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, oh, no, I want to say the date of birth. No, no, it's the date of birth. Yeah, you want to do it? Oh, uh, uh, the day I got bit by a spider was was crazy. I was, you know, I was on my way to work. You yeah. know what I'm saying and um. I couldn't believe it. Like it was crazy. Like I was just walking, and then I got to work, and then I was changing in the locker room and shit like that. And it was like a spider bit me, and it was like crazy. Yeah. And at that day, I quit. I, I quit my job that day, so. Yeah. I quit my job. You couldn't got, work no more after you. Cause, got cause they didn't give me work release when I got bit by a spider. Yo, fuck my job. Fuck you if you watching this shit. I got bit by a spider at work, and um. It was crazy because I, I told the manager, I'm like, yo, I think something bit me at work. It was crazy. He was like, oh, nah. Like, I'm like, nigga, I got to go home. This shit is different, nigga. You heard yeah. so? He was like, nah, you got to... Nigga, I'm out. I quit that shit. Fuck that job. You watching this shit right now, you can suck my dick. I got bit by a spider on your time. Yeah. And they didn't give me workers' comp. Damn. They can suck my dick. And that's why I'm here right now. I got bit by a spider. And look what I turned to, nigga. Spider cars. Spider cars. Pussy. Bow! You shit me? <laughs> so, what was regular life like before Spider Cuz? Oh, okay. Shit, like, regular life before Spider Cuz. Like, before the pandemic happened, like, I used to work in a lot of um, restaurants and shit like that. And um, I used to, I'm a, I'm a, I was a chef. Yeah. You know, oh, um, right. before, before I became Spider Cuz and shit like that. And, and a lot of restaurants that I had, a lot of jobs that I had prior before I became Spider Cuz, it was cool. Like me being regular, me being me before I became Spider Cuz is just me being Spider Cuz. Yeah. I put what I did in my daily routine into Spider Cuz. Yeah. So ain't nothing really changed. Probably my circle changed, but like me just being me and entertaining the people is what I normally would do. Yeah. If I wasn't Spider Cuz. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, Zo? So, like, shout out to Spider Cuz. That nigga lit. That nigga lit. <laughs> <laughs> I love that nigga. That nigga dope, man. Shout out to Spider that. Cuz. You lit, nigga. What Fuck does, that. so what does Aunt May mean to you? Aunt May, man, like, rest in peace. Like, you know, I ain't gonna say rest in peace, because Aunt May didn't die. You know, like, I can't say rest in peace. We're gonna edit that good. Um, um, Rest in peace to Uncle Ben. Aunt May means a lot to me. Like, Aunt May taught me a lot. You know what I'm saying? Aunt May taught me. Not to fuck with the thoughts. Like the thoughts yeah. that's in the streets. Like, all you thoughts, y'all can't fuck with me. You heard? Because Aunt May told me what the fuck not to do and what to do. Yeah. Uncle Ben died, but we still carry his fucking legacy because Uncle fact. Ben was a real nigga. Cheers to Uncle Ben. Cheers to fuck Uncle Ben. Ben. Like, we love Uncle Ben. Like, rest in peace to Uncle Ben. If Uncle Ben was still alive, word to my mother, <laughs> it'd be Liddy. Like, word to my Uncle Ben would probably be in here getting lit with us too, nigga. Yeah. Uncle Ben, we love you, nigga. Uncle Ben, we love you. Love you, nigga. 
crazy. But oh, like I said, back to on May. On May always cook for me, nigga. I love you on May. I'll be home later. I'm at the fucking interview doing what I gotta do. For the real niggas outside. All right, on May. I love you, baby. If you're watching this right now, I'll be home. Rest in peace, Uncle Ben. We love you, nigga. Could it the bow? You shit me? When did you turn crip? Hmm. Damn, I shit got cold. Hold up. I turned crip when I was 16. I turned crip in that elevator. <laughs> That, like, was, that was your initiation. That so was my initiation. Like, How many like, floors you had to go up? Six floors? It was 16 floors. Ooh. So imagine you going from the 16th floor to the first floor, from the first floor to the 16th floor, back down, getting it on. Bing, 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 bing. And it's like one nigga just pressing all the button, make sure that door closed <laughs> every time it open. Yeah. Like we going up, nigga. I'm getting it on with two niggas. They jumping me. Bing, bing. And after that, they be like, yo, cuz. Congrats, some shit like that. Yeah. And that's when I turned Crip at the age of 16. At the age of 16, I turned Crip. And, I, and yeah, I was, I, that era was 2000, 2006. Wow. So, where were, where were you at in life that you felt you had to come home? It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't even that in life. It was more like I was in the streets already. Like, like at yeah. that age, at that era, like 06, 07, like, 05, fuck that, 05, 06, I was in the streets because I got adopted. I was young, you know, like I was I'm like, like I was young. I got adopted when I was younger. And I felt like, you know, like even though, even though the people I was with, my my cousin and shit like that, I feel like they was way supportive, but I feel like the streets took me, like the streets, I was in the streets, like selling drugs, like selling crack, like to niggas' mothers that I knew. Wow. Like, I, nigga, like a nigga sold to my grandmother, rest in peace her soul. He sold to my grandmother. Yeah. In front of me, nigga, like, I'm like, oh, shit. And after that day, I knew it was in the fair game. So I didn't sold to niggas' moms and shit like that. I didn't, like, in that era, 06, 05 and shit like that. Like, niggas done sold crack. Niggas done did that era. Like, and, 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 and I ain't gonna disclose blocks and all that, but... That was the era when niggas was really getting money. If you know about that era, the crack era, the the dope era, the, the when niggas was outside, like that era. Mm -hmm. Like niggas know about getting money. Like this era right here is no money outside. Yeah. So yeah, so 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 that so that point, that's when I that's when I I didn't feel like I had to come home. I felt like it was just, it was just like, it wasn't even a come home thing. It was just more like I was just in the streets already. Yeah. And I was around niggas that was already crip. My brothers and them was already blood. I didn't want to turn blood no disrespect. I wasn't I wasn't into that, you feel me? But then I turned crip. And then it was like, yo, why you turn crip when your brother's is blood? And I'm like, nigga, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I turned crip because I, I you know, this is what I like. Yeah. You blood, that's what that's what you like. Yeah. You feel me? But and, and I don't got nothing against none of that. I don't got nothing against no game. I'm crip. My name's Spider Cuz. I don't got beef with nobody. I disclose that. I make sure the tables are dressed with nice fancy shit on there. I don't got beef with nobody. My name is Spider Cuz. I beef with Batman. <laughs> yeah. I don't beef with nobody else. Like, yeah. so when niggas ask me, yo, Spider Cuz, who you got beef with? Batman, Green Goblin, all these characters that you saw in the movie, we got beef. Yeah. Any other gang related shit, we don't have beef. Yeah. There's no beef with me. I'm Love crip. That. And that's it. I respect that's that. Wild. So that that leads to my next question. How mm -hmm. do you feel about Batman? <laughs> See, the funny thing is that niggas asking like, yo, bro, how you started the interview? Um, I mean, how you started the beef with Batman and shit like that? It was one day during quarantine, and I saw um, a nigga named Buck County Batman. He from Philly. You could look him up. He got a big following. He's decent, you know? Whatever. Fuck that nigga, though. He pussy. Anyway, um, <laughs> I saw him walking through the smoke in Philly during the pandemic. It was like a pandemic, and... I was outside protesting with all that Black Lives Matter shit. Yeah. I, not shit. I'm sorry to say yeah. that. Mm -hmm. I was outside protesting. I get the drift. I get, yeah, I get the protesting drift. Protesting with all that Black Lives Matter, you know, and, um, you know, going with the people that was outside walking across the bridge and George Floyd and all that situation. And I saw him walk through the smoke mm -hmm. and I had bought my costume. And I was like, yo, 
yo, Zo, I was like, yo, fuck that nigga Batman. I'm not sure that nigga. I'm my costume on. I made a video, and that's when, what is Zoo New York? That's when they had their page. Welcome to New yeah. York. So this is Welcome to New York. So this is my guys. Um, um, Panic Room. You know what I'm saying? Um, and um, and that's how they did. And, and, and a lot of people saw me through those pages as well. And um, Philly Scoop. Yeah. Cause I was saying fuck Philly Batman, so they put me on their page. Yeah. Um, shout out to No Jumper too for putting that Batman disc DC that Batman disc up there <laughs> as well. Yeah. So, you know, like and that's how and that's how we got drawn. Like, who the fuck is this nigga saying fuck Batman? Who is this nigga? He got a blue bandana on, he's crap, he's saying fuck Batman. Yeah. And he's walking around like and outside when nobody's supposed to be outside. Mm -hmm. That's what made it crazier. Yeah. A lot of niggas was outside when I was outside during the pandemic. Yeah. You had to be inside. I was outside looting with these niggas, protesting <laughs> with a costume on. Yeah. And this is when I was showing my, I was like, oh, showing my man, all the other shit. But I, and then before I started, before, after, after I realized, I'm like, hold on, wait. If, if I make another page, I will be able to keep my identity hidden. Cause I started doing it on my main page. Mm -hmm. Like my main shit. But in no reality, I'm like, wait. A son said, yo, wait. I swear to God, you heard so? Mm -hmm. Son said, yo, wait. Make another fucking page. Yeah. And keep your identity hidden before they catch on. I caught it fast enough. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing this shit for two years. And we outside. Was, the, was the uniform, like, was this like from the first day? Or it was like, it gradually came to like, the suit, the bandana, the chain. The nah, beat. it was the, the first day. First day. The first day, I had the blue bandana on. I had the um the Yankee hat on. I had the Tims on, mm -hmm. and I just and, and like I said, you heard so. It wasn't it wasn't planned. It was I bought a costume just to be funny, yeah. Because I always been entertain. I always been in a entertainer. Like yeah. I always been that kid in school that if you come to school with a bum ass outfit on, I'm on your heels. Yeah. That's what's me. This is so New York because I just said on, I just said on your heels in my head. Yeah, <laughs> you said it. I'm on your that's heels. Real, that's you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, respect me from New respect. York. So, um, so like, I took what I usually do and I put it into a costume. Yeah. And that's and that's just what it is. We got here. It's the same me, but it's in the costume. Yeah. What makes you the king of New York? Oh, what makes me the king of New York? I'm outside. I'm outside with different variety of people. I'm outside representing New York. I'm outside in this fucking costume, not begging for money like them rinky dink niggas in 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 in, 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 in Times Square. I'm outside putting on for New York. I'm outside putting on for the Crips. I'm really outside. Like I'm really outside doing what people want to do. And saying what they want to say, yeah. suck my fucking dick. <laughs> Not to you, Zo. You might, you ain't might choke. Yeah, you might no, you, you talking your Not shit. Not to Zoe. suck my dick is what one of the motherfuckers want to say. Yeah. How many motherfuckers want to go to their job and be like, "Yo, boss, suck my dick." I'm the guy to do it. I got yeah. niggas paying me for shout outs, Zo. Yeah. They be like, "Yo, bro, you can't." Uh, one day I went to a job, right? I went to. A fucking Starbucks jump. Yo, 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 yo Zo. Yeah. Went to a Starbucks. I was like, it was Halloween. Same era. Same. Swear to God, yo, Jay. The same era, the same time. That's when I got booked for Rolling Loud. Uh -huh. I went into I'm being Starbucks. Being Starbucks. Karen had her dog with her. Mm -hmm. And she was like, hey, cut it down. I had my phone. Like, Look at Karen. Karen took my cut it down. Fuck out of here. The manager came from around and grabbed my hand. Ooh. I got on that nigga hills. Like mm -hmm. you said, you like, from New York. Yeah, yeah. I said, don't ever fucking touch me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't ever touch me. No, I'm just the king of New York. Yeah. And that's what makes me. Don't fucking touch me, nigga. I do what I want to do. Yeah. I done got into arguments with officers. I wish you had a clip that you could have put on oh my God. In their face. And my God, Jay Garcia was like, <laughs> You see how my face? He was like, he, he was like, Hmm, I don't know what's gonna happen, but what's gonna happen is gonna happen. Yeah. I said, You gonna give me my fucking Hennessy bottle back. 
Yeah. You took it from my man, not from me. Because if you took it from me, you wouldn't have took it from me. Mm -hmm. My man got the Hennessy Wild who took it from me because he wanted to be doing the crazy shit yeah, on yeah, the yeah. car. Shout out to Bello G. Yeah. And that's how this altercation all started. But shout out to the officer that didn't lock me up. Because <laughs> we outside. Because yeah. I'm the king of New York. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I do what the fuck I want to do. That's a fact. I'm not bothering nobody. I'm not committing no crimes. I'm drinking my Hennessy and I'm minding my business. Yeah. How much honey do you drink a week? A week. Shit, it depends how many bookings I got. I could be having Hennessy in my crib and just smoking weed. Yeah. Like, I don't got, I, you know, I don't I don't really got to, like me, I'm not no fucking alcoholic that be like, oh my God, I need Hennessy. But I will have a bottle of Hennessy when I go outside because it's a prop and it's go with the costume. Yeah. You see what we doing? We drinking Hennessy and we getting lit. You got your cup? Where your cup? Your cup's empty. It's always real heavy. Yo, where your cup at, bro? Where your cup, cup at? Over there. Can you grab? Wanna... Oh, shit. Can you jump in real fast? Come, come, come. Yeah, you good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, nigga, look at the camera. Tell the camera what the fuck is up. What's going on? We tapped in. We tapped the fuck in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Pixel. We outside, nigga. Grab the other cup. Grab the other cup, the other grab cup. The other cup. KO. Get the other cup. Come on. You over here sitting with the white. Come on, man. Shout Get out to my man, Zoe. We outside, yeah. nigga. Outside. Zoe, Zoe, Zoe. Yeah, we, 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 we the fan, man. Spider Cubs, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Love, 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 love. We outside, nigga. Yeah, what's up? Bang. All right. All right, so. Um, so my next question. Uh, do you have sex to drill music? Hell no, Zoe. What the fuck? <laughs> yo, I was just saying that earlier. I'm like, yo, nah, I can't. I can't. Yeah. I can't. I, yo, Zoe, I can't. Okay, okay. I can't because you know why? Because... It's gonna be too many dead niggas. I'm fucking too like yeah, why, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like why would I want to fuck to dead niggas? Well, packs and dead niggas. I want to. Yeah, yeah. I want to fuck to um you know Keith Sweat or okay, okay. I want to fuck to motherfucking Usher. I want to uh -huh. fuck to motherfucking Neo. I want to yeah. fuck to you know what I'm saying. Make it last forever. It's shit like that. Yeah. Not that. I'm gonna get to my boom in the pop ah, and the boom in the shoot in the shop. Bah. No, I cannot fuck to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, all right. This is a question. This is curiosity. I can't, I can't. I'm glad you cleared that up for I the public. Clear you know? it to I cannot fuck to no fucking drill music. If you watching this shit, if you making drill music, please just don't make it in my playlist because this shit yeah. is not in the playlist. You playing R. Kelly? No. <laughs> hey, say what you gotta say. You, you know said what? that you hold on, hold on, you hold on. What? You said you say what people really want to fucking you say. You know what? Let me tell you what the fuck it is, right? Tell them. R. Your shit. Kelly did some crazy shit that we didn't know about, right? Yeah. But let's keep it fucking real. Do niggas still play? Phone a baby. Do niggas still play that? Like real talk, like when you ask yourself, R. Kelly then had some of these kids that's out here right now. A lot yeah. of these kids was raised off of R. Kelly. Yeah, that's but right. I'm not preaching for what the fuck he did, that weird shit that he did, that motherfucking creep shit that he did, mm -hmm. that that rape shit, whatever. Fuck that shit. Yeah. But the music, they said it related to that shit, but. He made some good fucking music. Though. It's hard to separate the it's art. It's hard to separate this shit. Damn, like, how the fuck can I... You know, but you know what, though? He made some good fucking music, though. Yeah, he did. Don't lie, bro. Like, come on. Uncle Ben uh, Even Uncle Ben knew who R. Kelly was. Yeah. Rest in peace to Stanley. Yeah. Even Stanley knew who R. Kelly was. Yeah. R. Kelly... We didn't know what the fuck he was doing. That was none of our business. Yeah. We're going to dig deeper into the craze. Oh, my God, R. Kelly was doing all this. Nigga, we wouldn't think we knew about what's him putting out music. Yeah. Until they disclose everything. Until they put everything, expose everything, and put everything up to the fades. Oh, yeah. all right, that's crazy. R. Kelly did some wild shit, but damn. But there was a lot going on. You saw, you saw my man, Pill Cosby. See, Pill Cosby knew what the fuck he was doing. Yeah. That motherfucker got locked up, and he said, nigga, when they let me the fuck out... Uh, <laughs> I am gone, R. Kelly. You need to listen, and he didn't listen. Yeah. R. Kelly didn't fucking listen. You didn't. And when, when Pill Cosby got out of jail, did you see him ever since? No. Do you even hear anything about putting the finger in the pudding? None of that other shit. Do yeah. you even hear about none of that shit? They have a show, Bill Pill Cosby, on none of that shit no more no. because he knew what he was doing. He said, "Get me off the radar. Yeah. Do not put me up there." Pill Cosby, you got off the skin of your teeth. Yeah. That motherfucker was about to go down.
Like, need no ground. But then he told R. Kelly, he warned that nigga. He said, yo, listen, brother, they out for your ass. <laughs> the nigga, look at me, once he got out of jail, that nigga said, we? You ain't gonna see me no more. I over here, no, but that nigga Bill Crosby. That nigga yeah, I watched a little bit of that, whatever's on Showtime or HBO, whatever, and he was, he was different, bro. But see, he yeah. gone, he, you don't hit, he's, he's gone. Just, he's gone. That's yeah. a fact. So what made you fall in love with Mary Jane? The hair color. She was ginger. It was the, it was the, it was the hair color. It was the, Peter. It was the, it was the, it was the Peter. I love you. I was like, damn, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was the hair color. It was the, it was the freckles. It was the, 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 it was the look. Like Mary Jane is a baddie. Like, yeah. When you look at Mary Jane when she was standing in the rain when I was on like below when that she started to go my mask. She had the, the nice nipples. Yeah. Remember that part in the movie? Yeah, I was yeah, there. Yeah. I, I was there that day. Yeah. All right, so I was there and her nipples was hard. You know why? <laughs> because it was cold that day and then I was going to do what I had it to do. It was cold that. that night. It was cold that night. <laughs> you know what I mean? I had to do what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I ain't going to front. Mary Jane, she's a baddie and she got a nice fatty. She, don't watch that, Zo. Watch yeah. it. Yeah, that's my girl. Yeah, I got you. That's, that's my Mary Jane. Okay. That's I got Mary you, man. Jane. You know, that's all you. It's me. Can't have her. Me? So how you feel when she fuck your mans? <sighs> Who she fuck? Who she fuck? My your man? mans. She fuck Venom? She ended up marrying your man. Like she was like, oh, the nigga life. in the oh, you, I, you know what? Spider Man Part Two. Your man. Yeah, yeah, his pussy nigga. ass nigga. He's a rich nigga. But guess what happened at the end of the movie? What happened <laughs> at the end of the movie? She was on my lap. Yeah. You know I had to get that back. Yeah. She was with him for a reason, not for a season. Uh -huh. That nigga was just there Who'd for you? a replacement. Spoken Fuck word. that nigga. He's a bozo. He yeah. can never be me. Yeah. At the end of the movie, what happened? I was still clapping her cheeks. Yeah. Mary Jane is my 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 bitch. Like every movie that you see her in, it's always me with her. Yeah. She could deal with a dirty nigga like that nigga that was in the movie. He's a dirty nigga. He can never be <laughs> me. Mary yeah. Jane, you fucking violated. All right. When I see you, <laughs> it's off with your kufi. Okay, respectfully. <laughs> you was with a dirty nigga, try to get married with a dirty nigga. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How could you? Disrespectful. But I still love you though. <laughs> On May, she valid to come to Thanksgiving. <laughs> respectfully. <you heard? laughs> so, how did you feel when Uncle Ben died? You must have wrote that question. You wrote that question, Azul? Yeah, I write all my questions. How I felt when Uncle Ben died. I mean, they said that he got, he got, um, he didn't want to give up his car, so he got shot, whatever the case may be. He didn't want to give up whatever, whatever, whatever the case may be. Whatever the case, we got shot. I was, I was on my way to meet him. And, um, I mean, like, I seen his last words. He called me Peter. He was like, yo, you know, like, you know, like, it was the nigga that did it, he didn't, he actually died. Rest in piss to that pussy ass nigga. Like, he died. Like, <laughs> he ain't here to talk about what the fuck he did. Like, he ain't here to say what he did. But anyway, rest in peace, Uncle Ben. Like, how I felt when he died was crazy because now the family is, like, really not torn apart, but it's fake torn apart because on maybe asking for extra requirement. But Uncle Ben, we gonna hold it down. We love you, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Respectfully in our hearts, Uncle Ben. Um, fuck Batman. He could suck my dick. His mother and his father both died. I lost an uncle. <laughs> I didn't lose. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't lose yo Zo. You hear me, Zo? I didn't. I didn't. You hear me? I didn't like. I lost her. Oh man, what, what's um, what's Batman mother name? Martha Wing. Like Martha Wing got killed in front of him. Both of his parents, like they both got double homicided in front of him. Uncle Ben didn't get killed in front of me because that would have never happened. If I was right there, homie knew that I would have. Flipped the gun like clink, clink, clink. I would have got the gun. Yeah. He knew he knew better to do that. Yeah. Cause once he clink, 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 I would have got that fast. Clink, yeah. clink. Yeah. I would have hit the gun. But Batman, watch. 
a a a a unknown nigga catch his mother for his pearl, her pearls. Like, give me your pearls. She didn't want to give up the pearls. She should have gave up the fucking pearls. When he said give up the fucking pearls, and he killed the father and killed the mother, and then he could have killed him, but he looked at him and was like, yeah, nigga. You pussy. That's it. That's it. And Batman like, <laughs> nigga, Uncle Ben got killed. Nigga, I spent, I cried, and I looked, and I heard on a walkie-talkie that what block he was on. I said, oh, he up there. He upstairs. Oh, he's scared. And he was on a little thing like this. <laughs> he was up. Look, he was like this. He was he was up. He was up like on some against the wall type shit. Have you seen that part in the movie? Yeah, yeah. And he jumped because I killed him. He killed himself, but I killed him still. It is what it is, though. That's what it is. Because at the end of the day, I still went back and I still spent for Uncle Ben. When he was dead on that floor and he looked at me, he said, Peter. This fucking mic, you I feel you. He said, Peter. Take your time, cuz. All right. He said, Peter. And he looked at me. You heard so? He looked at me in my eyes. He started crying. He died in my arms. And once I heard that show on that walkie talkie, I went over there. And he was scared. He was, like, he was holding against the glass. He died. He jumped to his own death. Pussy boy. Rest in piss to his family, nigga. He never coming back, nigga. Bitch! I Batman, said, you never spent back for your family. Wow. Why Batman didn't go back for his mother and his father? Hanzo, they killed him in the alley. Bing, bing. And they should have killed his little stink ass. I think he's saving Gotham. Gotham where? <laughs> Gotham where? <laughs> yeah. Gotham to my dick. Gotham <laughs> City. <laughs> Ain't no city, nigga. I run New York, nigga. Is he fucking dumb? He's a bum. Batman, you're a bum. You're a bum and you're a fucking loser. If you're watching this interview right now, yo, Zo, don't edit none of this shit out. No. Suck my dick, nigga. You bitch ass nigga. Hate you. You stink. You in a cave with bats. How could you beef with me? I mean, why, why we're on the energy of people you hate? I saw the animated version and, and a little cartoon thing of you beating up 6 9 <laughs> Yeah. How do you feel about 6 9 How do I feel about 6 9 6 9 he's a bitch. You heard? Because I feel like if you rat and then you come back out with a, nut, with a gangster rat, it's not it. Yeah. Don't. If you a rat, be a rat. All right, big shout out to Tease Hanley, our, one of our affiliates, one of our proud sponsors. Uh, men, got to take care of your face. Got to take care of yourself. We have our wash. We have our AM and PM creams that you put on afterwards. And we have your scrub that you use two times a week. Skin care is the best care. And remember, fellas, no lady likes an ugly face. Stay in the hole. But if you want to be a gangster, how could you rat and then be a gangster? That, that, that never was solid. So yeah, six nine K, bitch, nigga. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's what I gotta say. I ain't going too much on that. This energy is different. Huh. But I did have somebody in to make, make that video game, and it's going to drop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so it's a video game. <laughs> yeah, the dub is a is a is a is a is a, is a WWE game. <laughs> yeah. WWE. And I have somebody actually. I I could tell them who I want. I could put Eric Adams in there. Yeah. How do you do? You have anything against Eric Adams? I do. I, I feel like Eric Adams should actually shut down Rikers Island. Yeah. I feel like he's stolen right now. I feel like Eric Adams know what he's doing. I feel like Eric like need to know what the fuck he's doing. Like you from you from Brooklyn. You from the hood. You from the ghetto. And and I feel like you're not doing shit for the community. Yeah. I feel like you say you're doing something, but you're really not. How the fuck is you doing something for the community when always something happened on the train? We're going to put cameras on the train. Never, nigga. When are you going to do it? If you're going to do it. Stop saying it and just do it. Eric Adams, you need to shut down Rikers Island. That's what you need to do. A lot of people getting killed in Rikers Island. Yeah. If niggas is unaware of that. Like, yeah. niggas are bypassed that. Rikers Island, there's a lot of shit going on in Rikers Island. He know about that. He know what's going on. And he's from the community, from the hood. He say he's this, he says that. But I feel like you're not really standing up for your community like you said you are. 
So yeah, Eric Adams. I got my own difference. I got my own difference with you. <laughs> yeah, you know, everybody got their own opinion, but me, I'm sticking solid, nigga. You ain't doing shit for the community, nigga. You ain't doing nothing. All right, shut the fuck up. And just and and just you're not doing nothing. What are you doing? Yeah. What, 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 what Okay, what, what we can say. Okay, what, what is Eric Adam doing for the community? We can really say that he's from Brooklyn. He's from from the hood. What is he? What is he doing? For the community. Now we can honestly say that. We can pinpoint right now. I can do this. He did that. Could you, could you, could you, could you pinpoint it? No, I mean, I think with, uh, when we have a black person run. Yes. It's like, oh, we got a black person. Got you. Right? Yeah. So it's trying to use his hood card and being black and all that to his yeah. advantage. It's like Kamala it's Harris. It's the same thing. Got you. You know, they're all pawns. They're all pawns. Saying? They definitely and is. if you're really going to stand on it, stand on it. Like, if you really in tune... You know what's going on in our community. It's mm -hmm. like you know that it's the same thing he grew up seeing. So I feel like at a certain point, like when are we gonna take a stance? Like when are we gonna use our resources? Like it's crazy, bro. Public school mm -hmm. are losing funding. How? Public school is losing funding. How? And they didn't even know about that. How? Shit. I don't they fuck. control the budgets. They uh, the so, public school. So facility. how is it? How do we? How do we have a problem with the youth mm -hmm. and teachers are getting fired? Mm. Bro, if they if they listen, if they they're part of their job, it's for there to always be a problem. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you got to create the problem. There you go. you got to. You know what I'm saying? You got to. You know what I'm saying? You got to foam again. The gas is on. You know what I'm saying? Let me add a little more fuel to the fire. That's a fact. So they should, I should never hear that teachers are getting laid off. How is that possible? A lot of teachers don't want to fucking work either. <laughs> they should get paid better, though. There you go. For the work they do, because a lot of these young kids come from broken homes. Mm -hmm. They come from difficult homes, and the teachers got to deal with that. And it's like they're not getting paid enough yeah. to deal with people not people, but like, you know, like kids come from homes where mothers and fathers don't give a fuck about them. And they're gonna teach you gotta deal with that shit. Yeah. They gotta they gotta break them in. They gotta make them smile. They gotta they gotta they gotta they gotta they gotta, they gotta, they gotta do a lot of shit for yeah. a kid that they gotta do more than teach. More than teach. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta dig into their soul now. Now you gotta know what what who is the kid now. Yeah. Because now you like, damn, this kid is really like going through it. Like you know that. Yeah. But in order for you to get more in tune with the kid, you got to dig deep in tune with the kid. Yeah. And that's why the kid come to school every time the mother... Okay, the mother can look, once you get in tune with the kid, you want to know more about the family, yeah. about the broken home, about all that situation that's going on. Because trust me, when kids come to school miserable, it's not because they come to school miserable. Yeah. Because it's, something that's home. It's all the adversity they face outside of school. Yes. It's crazy. Um, Derek Rose was on the Math Hoffa show. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was talking about how the night before he went to school, he got he got bit by six roaches. Damn. So it's like, who gives six a fuck roaches. about homework at that point? <laughs> right? How do a roach bite feel? You ever got bit by, bit by a roach? I haven't. <laughs> but I don't... you imagine, but the, imagine the circumstances was he was sleep? living in. He probably was asleep. He was asleep. He probably woke up and say, "You probably got bit by a bed bug." Yeah. Because it, if a roach gonna leave a mark, it's not gonna leave a mark. I don't think a roach is gonna leave. It probably was bed bugs then, was. you know. But see him when they established that. I mean, they along the lines, bugs. he got bit by something. Bit, you feel me? Bit. And if it was roaches, then it is what it is. But his circumstances were crazy. You know what I'm saying? So how is he supposed to go home? How is he supposed to go to school mm -hmm. and be the best he can be Rebel. when he deals with so much shit? Outside of school. Yep. That's why my nonprofit Slice of Excellence, we mm -hmm. trade report cards for pizza. Mm -hmm. When I cool. when I was teaching, yeah. that was my problem, bro. Is that they didn't I didn't want to make excuses for the kids, but I also understood that you go through so much every day. Like yeah. those little kids are little humans. Yeah, of course. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Up. They, they go they through humans. so much yes, shit every yes. day. So yes. it's like, how could we ignore everything they go through every day? You can't and expect them to excel in school because they are they they are the 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 the, the hair after hair after no 
It's a word you gotta say. They are the future. There yes. You go. They are the future. The kids that grow as babies and they're growing up and they're getting older, they are the future. They the one that's gonna produce, they the one that's gonna breathe, they're the one that's gonna, you know, do what they gotta do to make another hair after. Cause that's what we do. We make a legacy. Hmm. When we when people say you got eight, nine, ten kids because nigga, you fucking lucky I can fucking make eight, nine, ten kids. Cause some motherfuckers can't make one. Yeah. So some people be having all these kids with all these baby mothers. It's crazy because yeah, that's stressful. <laughs> nah, it is. I ain't doing none of that, nigga. If I'm gonna fuck around, I'll fuck around with one bitch or two bitch. If I got one, two kids, not eight, nine niggas be having eight, seven, six, five baby mothers. Yeah. How could you deal with that? Yeah. Five baby mothers. You, you got that, any? You got any baby cousins rolling around? Oh yeah, yeah, I got baby cousins. One is um about one is six and one is ten. Okay. You know, and they, I had to tell I had to tell my little cousin, my little one, six, six. When she see me, she gotta say hi. Because I feel like kids nowadays they don't have respect, right? Yeah. As I'm bugging, like if you walk into the room and it's kids, do they say hi? Or do they like not not say like? Okay, so I, I you know basically I live with this though. My she's six years old. I feel like when she see any adult, it's more like hello, how you doing? Good afternoon, good evening. Yeah, that's how it should be. Yes, as in as a kid growing up, me because my mother's like you gotta say good afternoon to adults. Yeah. You go in somebody's house, you say hey, you greet them, you say hi. You know, whatever the case yeah, may be. Well mannered, yeah. There you go. So I feel like you know my little cousin. You know, it's my little cousin. You know, I love him to death, but they gave me a little hard time. But I love him. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you mentioned earlier that you were adopted. Yeah. So how did that come about? I mean, growing up, you know, growing up in the system, like you know, like growing up, like you know, like growing up in a crazy ass situation where it was more like, was more like you know, like everybody go through shit in life. You know, like yeah. you don't really know. What a person go through until you actually ask them. Yeah. Like nobody knows the emotions or the behind the scenes shit. Yeah. So when you say adopted, it's like I didn't really get adopted. I got adopted by family members and shit like that. Yeah. You know, but it's like it's more like going through the system was kind of crazy. So like people don't the people that I could relate that could relate to that. I could relate to, you know. Dealing with hardship, dealing with, dealing with, you know, like, got to deal with different opposite of family. Yeah. But it's still family. Mm -hmm. You get me, like, you got to treat them like mommy, but they not mommy. Yeah. You get me, like, you see what I'm saying? Like, the whole opposite of it. So it was more like growing up. It was good. I didn't have to ask for nothing. Yeah. I ain't going to lie to you. I didn't have to ask for nothing. I was just running the streets because I wanted to run the streets. Yeah. I wanted to sell drugs. I wanted to sell crack. I was out there wilding. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, even my man right there, he he gonna witness and tell you everything that is facts that I speak about. I don't speak about no false shit on these shits. Yeah. Cause I was really doing that shit. Yeah. Really selling drugs, really shooting it, really vibe, really doing what I was doing. Yeah. But see, that's the type of shit that Niggas need to understand that we grow old from that shit. We grow yeah, older yeah. from that shit. Like we, we, I could tell you niggas about how I was in jail and how I was up north and how I was to ask for a bigger piece of coffee cake, cause niggas want to give you a small piece of coffee cake on the child line. Yeah. Only niggas up north that can understand what I'm talking about. If you've yeah. been up north, so like, that's how I felt when it was like adoption. It was like. Whoa, it's like my mom saying, Yeah, oh, shit, my father, I ain't know that nigga. Yeah. Uh -huh. My father, he could he could suck a dick. I don't know that I ain't know that nigga. You feel me? But like I knew him one time. One time. Look, I said I knew him one time. And that was like one time. <laughs> you seen your father once in one your life? One time, that was it. That was, it was, that was it. And it was just like that. So anybody that dealing with Father shit like that didn't know they father that didn't know how to, you know like that's why I said I want this interview to be deeper than deep like you know yeah. like niggas that didn't know they father like I didn't know my father like my father only came in my life when I had a stepfather, you know my my my, my sibling father, yeah. but he we would think that he was my father because we look alike yeah the way the shit resemble yeah but 
it was just more like now I became something different that I became something like spider cause. Yeah. I I increased that and I enhanced that. Yeah. Like from going to doing five years locked up in jail in prison. Yeah. That was not easy. Yeah. How old were you when you went to jail? I was 17 when I went to jail. So you went to Rikers first? I went to C74. So that's why you speak on Rikers. So then what you going for? I went for attempt murder. And mm -hmm. how was your time in Rikers? It was 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 crazy. It was it what was, year was this? Like in 07. Whew. It was crazy in 07. Yeah. You know I could imagine. And it was it was it was crazy. It was crazy to the fact that, you know, like that in that era in C seventy four was like if you with it, if you not, you have your pen number, all that other shit. Like if you sit on the iron horse, that means you with it. You gotta give your muffin on every Sunday. I don't know how it is now, but in 07 was crazy. So in that era when I got locked up, it was like, it was like crazy. It was like, wow. I was like, I ain't never experienced no shit like this. Yeah. Asking me something with it, asking me my pen number. Nah, nigga, I ain't giving them shit, fighting for it. Get crazy with it. But it was more like, and then I, and then I, I, I was in there for nine months. Then I went to court. I wanted to, you know, just doing what I had to cop out for a little whatever time I had to do. And it was just like, I mean, I went up north, it was just different though. Yeah. Up north was crazy. Like, I ain't gonna front to you. A lot of niggas say they tough out in these streets. A lot of these niggas say they tough. A lot of y'all niggas say y'all gangster. Yeah. A lot of y'all niggas say y'all outside. Y'all niggas yeah. do not be outside. Go up north. Yeah. See how it is up north. See how it is when you gotta deal with long distance relationships. Yeah. See how it is when you gotta deal with your girl probably fucking on somebody while she texting you. <laughs> deal with that. Every point hitting up here respectfully. Yeah. You feel me? Like I done dealt with that. My ex bitch had twins on me when I came home. Oof. How the fuck I felt about that? That bitch, if you watching this shit, you know what's up. Okay, we outside. I'm assuming you came, y'all. You came home and y'all wasn't together no more. Hell no! Like no, we was. You you were stepdaddy to the twins for a little bit. No, I was clapping whatever I was doing. Yeah, and she do what she was doing. Yeah, and I couldn't get jiggy with that because the nigga that she was doing whatever she he wasn't in the she situation. Yeah. That was that. Mm -hmm. But what I could say is that she was a rider. Shout out to her. She watching this live. She know who the fuck exactly who I'm talking about. How was she a rider and she had twins on you? Somebody was watching me. They wasn't coming around me. Not yeah. disrespect. They big now. They big. Them niggas is big. Them yeah. niggas is like. You're probably your size, nigga. Like, yeah. like 14, 15, 16. Yeah. <laughs> Little kids nowadays, they, they, they get the big nigga now. They yeah. niggas, yeah, niggas tease. But nah, nah, I mean, like, they, the mother probably was watching or whatever the case may be. But yeah, until I, until I didn't want to do, excuse me, until I didn't want to, like, be in a relationship, it was more like a situation ship. Yeah. Cause I just came home, nigga. I'm not trying to deal with that. You got twins on me, nigga. I'm just trying to get my little miss. Catch up on what I had missed out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then, squirt, I gotta go. And then it so wasn't. Then how do you transition to life outside after you went to jail? When I got out of jail? Yeah. Um, It was difficult cause, because, it, like, when I went into jail, it was like Nokia's, it was like flip phones, it was like LRG. It was like, remember LRG? The sidekick era. Yes, it was around that era. It was, yeah. I was. It was like that ever so when I got locked up, it was just the beginning of the new year. Yeah. I just turned 17. My birthday coming up too, November 1st. Oh, wow. Scorpio wow. season. Get at the bow. He is Scorpio too. My son, shout out to my son, Jake. I ain't bow, bow, bow. Yo, so, okay. I, yeah, he know love is love. Scorpio season. Um, <clears throat> But um, I just turned 17. Yeah. November 1st. I got locked up in January. Yeah. 
the beginning of New Year, like not the exact day on New Year, but the beginning of that era. New yeah. Year is the beginning. Of anything in January, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the beginning, beginning of New of the Year. year. There yeah. you go. So you know, we didn't know exact date, but like I said, it was that era, and 07 was I ain't gonna front. Tuh. It was tough. Yeah. Uh huh. Being crip on the island, still to this day, is hard to do. Yeah. Because it's a lot of blood. Shout out to the blood. Shout out to gang. Whatever. You know, I don't give a fuck what gang you in. Shout out to the homies. Because I got family that's homies. But on that island, y'all niggas is fucking... Why do... I, 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 just, I try to figure out something. I'm like, why is there so many of them on that island? Yeah. You go to the island, every house is... Blood. It's Crips, Crips really can't live on the island. They, we get it on. We're gonna get it on for our spot. We're gonna get it on. We're gonna rock, we're gonna rock it out. But most like we in the box. Yeah. We live in the box. We're gonna go in the box now. Because we can't live in the houses because of situations of you know the bloods and the crips don't get along. But I tell you one thing. <laughs> this is true facts. <clears throat> I went to jail. That era, I told you, right? Oh, seven. I met a nigga I was in the town with. He's blood. In the town, he was blood. In the island, he was blood. Right? I go to the island. I go to the same house he's in. Mind you, we was chilling in the same hood, drinking, smoking, whatever, whatever. He's blood. Okay, I'm Crip in the streets. I can't put a fake on in the, sh in the jail because he know I'm Crip. He yeah. know how I was good up in the streets. So I got to claim Crip. Yeah. Yo, what's cracking? Yo, bro, what's popping? Yo, son. Yo, I got to talk to you. You got to talk to me. All right, cool, whatever. Yo, cuz, yo, niggas know that you Crip and niggas want me to get you out of here. On oh, my daughter... I got a daughter, a daughter heartbeat, respectfully. He's like, yo, cuz, like, I got niggas who want to get you out. So when niggas say they want you to get you out of here, they want to get you out the house. Yeah. They want to get you fucked up. They want you to get you, get you packed up. Pack your shit. You got to go how I know if shit was. Yeah. He was like, yeah, but I ain't going to front though. You my, like, and now he, like, he ain't going to say in front of like, nigga, you my man. Like, nigga, we going to get it up. I swear to God, and that's my son, Tone. Shout out to Tone. Tone, you watching this shit right here, Tone? You watching this motherfucking shit right here, Tone? I ain't gonna lie to you. Yo, shout out to Tone. Tone said, nigga, I'm going against everybody. Shout out to the God of my kid. Yeah, nigga, what's up, nigga? Yeah, niggas, they gonna violate you, nigga. We outside the, like, not outside, but you know, they wasn't yeah, saying outside yeah, of 07, yeah, yeah. but like, mainly, like, you know what I mean? Like, nigga, we gonna go, we out here together. We gonna go to the box, we gonna do whatever. I said, I like that energy. Yeah. Shout out to Job Lills. I got it on with you, nigga. For, 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 for a state green shirt. Yeah, nigga. Watch out, nigga. You don't remember who I am. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy because a lot of people that was locked up with me, y'all cannot sit with me. It's crazy. We outside, spider car, glitter the bow. Okay, go. That's true. So what would your message to your younger self be? A message to the younger me would be to not make the mistakes that I did, like going to do a a, a attempt murder and 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 doing the time that I did. Which is ten years. I did ten years all together. Wow. I ain't gonna lie, I did ten years all together. They 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 don't give a fuck how they put it. It's ten years. They are gonna tell you, ten years, cause it was five. It was five years on time. And it was five years on parole, straight. Yeah. With no cut. With no cut. None of that. They are gonna give you ten years. They offered me ten years flat, and take it, because I'm like suck my dick. They offered me five, but then they jerked, no homo, 
And they was like, yo, we got... They give you uh, five on and, and five, five on paper. Yeah, they know what they did. You know what I'm saying? So I took that, but you got to outsmart the system. Do what they say, but do what they don't say. Yeah. You're going to do what they say for a couple of months. Once they see you doing that, you got a job, you're not bothering them, you're not doing that, they're going to get off your heels. And now you smoking, you outside. That's how I was Yeah. for five years straight. They didn't give me no cut on no time. They didn't say, yo, yo, listen, come here, we're going to cut your time short. No, no time short. Yeah. It was just five years straight. And, and then we had to still pay parole. You got to, you know, any nigga that's on parole right now, you know what I'm talking about. You got to pay parole. You got to pay parole? You don't got to pay parole, but you want to pay parole because they say it gets you off faster. Nigga, that shit got me up the same time and said it's going to get me the fuck up, nigga. <clears throat> pay parole for what? You heard me, so? Yeah. Huh. So, yeah, you, you can pay parole to get you off faster. They got, like, they, they, like in parole, like, they give you a stipulation where, like, they got, like, fucking, like, certain, like, you could pay a certain amount. Yeah. Yeah, you pay parole. You do. Wow. Yeah, so, when they get on parole, you know what I'm talking about, right? I'm not lying, right? I got you. Yeah, I'm not lying. You pay parole. If you want to pay parole. Yeah. I don't pay, I didn't pay fucking parole. Why? Because <laughs> I'm soon getting no parole. Why would I pay you niggas $20, $30 for the day I come visit y'all so they can get me off faster and it doesn't work? Then I get me off faster. I'm just paying y'all money, extra money. Yeah. Like so, you, so you went in in 07, you came out in 2012? No, 2011. 2011, okay. Yeah. Oh, so you went in 06. No, 2007. Uh -huh. The beginning of 2007. January. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. so what's that? like? You got to do like 75% of your time. So, so, so okay. So out of five years, you do four years and what, five months? Yeah. Like that. So it took a couple of months away. Yeah. Because as gratitude to the time you did on the island. So if I did nine months on the island and I got to do five years, that's equivalent to the time they put it. They add, yeah. like, added on time. Mm -hmm. Got you. So Understood. Mm -hmm. Understood. So... What's your message to the youth? Well, my message to the youth is like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. As in what people say you should do. Do what you want to do as in what people say you should do. Because when people tell you to do something, it's not comfortability. It's just that you listen to what somebody telling you to do, like a manager at work, right? Yeah. So I always got this message, like I always be, fuck work. Why are you working for somebody? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Jay, record this, please. Um, why are you why why are you working for somebody? Right? They say you're a boss, right? You look at yourself, you wake up in the morning and you be like, I'm a boss, right? Right? I'm a boss. I'm a, I, I make. I do what I want to do, right? Yeah. <clears throat> you don't. You know why you don't? Cause you go to work, and yeah. you clock in for a next person. But that next person that you're clocking in for, you're making him richer, because you're there on time. You're doing equivalent requirements that they ask you to do, right? Mm -hmm. You're leaving at a certain time. They say that everybody leaves, right? So that day, you made him a couple of thousands and you only made a couple of dollars yeah right look at that you made him a couple of thousands and you made a couple of dollars because you only get paid 20 dollars an hour yeah while he's home twiddling his feet thumbing through movies and saying damn what movie should i pick <laughs> yeah. you have a couple of thousands right yeah. so when i when i got this approach where i say fuck working for other people is because i really mean that and I really stand by that because why would you, how could you, why yeah. would you, how could you say you're a boss and you with somebody else? Okay. Oh, you're a boss. But when you leave work, you forget about that mentality, right? There you go, right? That's what, I, 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 I get that. Mm -hmm. You can't be a boss working for somebody. You yeah. can't. I don't give a fuck what the fuck you say. I don't give a fuck who the fuck you are. Because you're making that nigga richer. If you're working for anybody establishment, you're not a boss. He's the boss. You're the fucking worker. Yeah. Let's get this clear. Let's make this, let's, 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 let's put this on the table nice and neat. Don't consider yourself a boss if you're working for somebody 
But when the manager say shut the fuck up, you shut the fuck up. Yeah. You go cut. You do whatever the fuck you gotta do. Yeah. All right. So people don't understand that you can be your own boss by following what the fuck you choose to follow. Yeah. Why do I gotta clock in for a fucking other guy when I could be home making money and having fun? Because work is not fun, right? You gotta go to work. You depends. got requirements, right? It depends. Uh, yeah, it depends. So do you have a do you have a job? Yeah, I do. You have a job. Okay. Cool. I'm a project manager. Project manager. So how many? Five days, four days, three days? Five days. Five days. Saturday and Sunday you off. I'm off. Okay. And that's crazy because that's dope. Only New York can say that. That's crazy. That's dope. That's yeah. dope because you create projects and put them together, right? Yeah. A lot of people that that and I'm in the star. And you in the star. Fifty seven Marcus star. Garvey. There you go. Fifty seven Marcus Garvey. Make sure you holler Some my the houses. Some of the houses. Project manager. All that good shit. You yeah. know what's going on. Big Zo in the building. But people don't know what to do with their talent. Like me, like when I found the creativity, like how to make Spider Cuts money. Yeah. It was crazy. You have to, you gotta, you gotta really think like, you gotta study. A lot of people that do content <clears throat> that's new to this content era, they watch other people and they piggyback off of that. Yeah. Like, okay, say for instance, my man do something and they're like, oh shit, that's funny, but I'm gonna do it my way. I mean, I do that shit too. Yeah. But, there's no creativity if you do that though. Yeah. So what you would want to do is that people are like, oh, yo, do the do do the reaction videos, do 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 the videos that's lit on reels. Yeah. But you know, you know what you're doing when you do that. You're making that nigga litter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why the fuck you don't get your own reenaction videos, which is hard to do, but yeah. still you can do that. Yeah. Just make something funny. It's for creativity. Yeah. This shit right here with this fucking Instagram TikTok. This shit is fucking easy. Yeah. The only thing that's, I ain't gonna front to you, gang. Like, this shit that I do is not what everybody else do. Yeah. Nigga, show they face. Yeah. They they gotta talk to, they gotta do different shit. Me, I wear a mask. Yeah. And why would I show my face and my chain for it's more these niggas' face? Yeah. How much, how much is your suit cost? My suit cost? Like, a hundred and $105, like $150, dollars Okay. The suit, the suit alone costs $105, dollars because it's where it's coming from. Yeah. Right? But everything else, like the Tim's, these Tim's, they How many not, Tim's do you go through? Yo, bro. <laughs> Look under my bed. My bitch is like, you don't even need to go outside with Tim's. You got Tim's that you wear like these, fussed up, and yeah. I'll buy a new... Yo, Jay. Jay. Got that Timberland sponsor. I spoke to the dude from Timberland. Andy, 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 Andy whatever. Andy, 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 like Andy, like here it is. Like Andy, like you, we spoke about the Timberland. You spoke about me coming to the office. You spoke. It's Andy. It's definitely Andy. Yo, Andy, it's Spider Cars. Um, you know, we spoke about the Timberland. He had, bro. He works with Timberland. So like we spoke about the deal that like a year ago. It's about to be a year ago, right? And it's like another year. Okay. So like at the end of the day, like if niggas don't want to sponsor Spider Cuz, I'm gonna continue doing what the fuck I do. Yeah. You know why? Because I'm real as a get. New York City know about Spider Cuz. New York City knows about Spider Cuz. Yeah. So if a nigga don't be like, oh my god, I know so I get a hat deal too. A like hat club a or new something. Era, new era, a, a hat Timberland, club, all, that. A, all of that, bro. But you know what though? Fuck all that shit. I'm gonna continue rocking with the you know what? Because when I before I became lit, I still was rocking Timberland. Yeah. I still was rocking New Era. I didn't ask for an endorsement deal then. I'm I'm a I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a dirty nigga. From Brooklyn, nigga. I'm a dirty nigga. No disrespect. I'm a real nigga. I'm a Brooklyn nigga. I'm a Brooklyn best style, do or die, dirty nigga. Now, now I say dirty, like dirty, nasty, dirty. I'm like, I'm a dirty nigga. I'm from the hood. Like, I'm from the trenches. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's what I mean when I say I'm a dirty nigga. Yeah. So like all this other shit these niggas wanna and fancy me with, all this fake shit they wanna do, nigga suck my dick. Yeah. I'ma keep it real with you. You wanna holler at me, holler at me. You ain't gonna find niggas in the trenches like me. Yo, yo, gang, trenches, sun tan on me all day. Like, it's like, 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 it's like, it's like, it's like, niggas look at me, oh, Spider Cuss, it's a character. No. I make this nigga into a fucking human. Yeah. He be in clubs with this shit on. I get, yo, bro. Uh, I saw I saw the Hide Your Moms video. Yeah, yeah. Dubbing on the nigga moms. On the nigga yeah. moms for OD. crazy. Bang, bang. And she was with it. She's OD And with she it. was with it. Yeah. Shout out to the nigga moms, because your moms is a baddie. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're wrong. Fuck. Yeah. What the baddie? Yeah. Respectfully. So it's like, you know, it's like, it's like, like, like niggas go outside to have fun. But just know that we are the entertainment when we outside. Like yeah. when niggas see Spider Cause they expect me to do certain shit. Yeah. Jump around, dance. Yo, we outside, yo, take a picture. And I do that because I want to pe- the people to know that. <laughs> Man, I'm not Hollywood, bro. Yeah. I love everybody. You hear me? I love my fans. I love the non-fans. Cause without the non-fans. <laughs> We yeah. have to hate us. Yeah. They, you know, they recording right now, like, oh my God, he's here, he's here. Oh, they, they, yeah. they recording right now to put little clips up because they can't get right here. Yeah. You never see a hater at the bank. Yeah. It's never, it's never equivalent. It doesn't add up. <laughs> so, how can we find you? How can we find merch? What's coming next? All right, what's coming next right now? We got a new merch drop, a rapper t shirt which is dropping any given day now. I choose to drop it. Um, my Instagram is spider cuz, spider, C-U-Z, like zebra. So it's spider, C, cat, as in U, as in universe, Z, as in zebra. So it's spider cuz. And I got new merch dropping. Um, you know what? You know, I ask myself that shit every day, like what's new, what's next? And guess what? You don't want to figure out what's next. It just comes to you. Yeah. When it comes to you, they say you saw you got this interview going on. This shit look crazy in here. Yeah, yeah. WTF look, Media Studios. You heard? This shit is crazy in here. We outside. It's it's a different energy because you don't gotta even explain it. Like, yeah. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. The production Fuck. is a one. Production's gonna Netflix. Production. Cameras, no lie. A- Wolf Taylor. You know. What yeah. I'm saying? We out. Netflix. Yeah. The big top quality. Make sure y'all fucking tap in, nigga. My guy, Big Zoe in the spot, nigga. You know what's going on, nigga. It's your boy Spider Cubs. We drunk, we getting lit. We got Hennessy in this bitch. And they be asking me, like, Spider Cubs, give me your energy. <laughs> Guess what? It's my fucking energy, nigga. Suck my dick if you're a fucking hater. If you're watching this right now, you like, damn, Spider Cubs, I hate him. Suck my dick. If your son got a costume on and it's the Batman costume on, he could suck my dick. Respectfully, if your kids is wearing anything Batman equivalent, to, they could suck my dick. Cause I'm really outside. There's no reason why your kid got a Batman costume when I'm Spider Cuz. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I take this shit to the grave, nigga. I'ma die with this shit, nigga. Batman gonna be K on my chest, nigga. If your kid is outside with a Batman costume, we're gonna flick his ass off to the next century. Yo, Jay, <laughs> can we kick a nigga kid, please? We're not gonna get sued, right? Yeah. Jay, we kick, we kick a nigga kid? What? If you see a nigga kid with a Batman costume, kick him. Kick him. Uh, we can't not do that. Let the kid. Not the, not the kid. kid. Not the All kid. right, cool. You lucky. If he's 21 and up, I'll be okay. All right, if you're 21 and up, we're gonna yoke you out. But if your kid is walking on a Batman costume, I don't know what I might do. I might yeah. kidnap your kid. <laughs> Nah, for respectfully, don't put your kid on no Batman costume next to me, nigga. I'm a violate. I don't give a fuck who your mother is, nigga. Fuck that shit, nigga. Batman K, DCK, suck my dick. Your kid better not have a Batman costume on. I'ma spit on that shit, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Yeah, I don't care. And make this shit air. It's going air. It's gonna air. It's going air. Respectfully, Halloween is right there, nigga. The kid got a fucking Batman costume on, a Robin costume on. I'm dead fucking kicking that little stupid nigga down the stairs. Cause he know better. He know better. Look at the Tim. Look at the Tim's on the table. He know better. 
Why would you wear a Batman costume around my Spider Cuz fans? All my Spider Cuz fans, we on a fucking hills. If you see a nigga wearing a fucking Batman costume on Halloween, record it and turn it up. We outside. Make I sure you like. I, be, I swear uh-huh. to God, I bet you it's going to go turned up. Oh, yeah. We're going to get turned up. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Go follow my guy, Spider Cuz. Look out for the merch. We here. We outside. And the best editing ever. Bow! We outside. I got to go pissed though. Where the bathroom at? That's a fact. We're going to the bathroom. Where the bathroom? Where the bathroom? Where the bathroom? We're doing that.